Microsoft's tutorial and we'll be focusing in this tutorial about how to set up the safety and reorder labels in the application now since you can have multiple warehouse because this application supports multi warehousing and multi stores so you can have uh, multiple warehouses and stores and you can log in from a respective warehouse or stores so now where do we set up this reorder level at a store level or at organization level or item master level to answer this question we will go first in the item master and we will see there is item okay, let's say where we have defined reorder levels like you know uh, friend drive pulley so this item we have defined safety stock as 1500 and reorder quantity is 500 means any time at any point in time when stock goes below 1500 system should allow the automatically the reorder quantity 500 so system should help reordering 500 quantity as soon as this situation arises okay in this case if we see that we are in the central warehouse we have logged in from the central warehouse at this stage so in the central warehouse at the moment the stock is 1100 okay for this item and minimum stock is 1500 it means this particular warehouse or rather all the warehouses you know but this at this point in time we are talking about item level item master level okay we are not talking about you know reorder quantity or safety quantity which is defined at warehouse or store level so at item master level we have defined this 15 quantity and find it so this will govern all the warehouses and stores by default this will become the minimum stock that needs to be maintained by each warehouse or store which is maintaining this particular item okay so let's go now look at the application which maintains warehouse level details so this was the application item information manager where we were just now and now we will go to warehouse management system where we have another application and this application is warehouse item master means we have certain details about these items which are maintained at warehouse level now what are these details we will have a look at this you know now this particular item fan drive pulley 1026293 which we were seeing there okay here the 2000 is the minimum quantity and reorder quantity is 250 I have put this you know at the item master level 500 for example let's open this item master again to just get an idea so in the item master I have defined reorder quantity as 500 and safety stock is 1500 but when uh, I have set up at warehouse level central warehouse and work I have logged in at this moment central warehouse and work okay and I am just you know reviewing details in this warehouse so I have made this from 1500 I have made 200 okay for this warehouse okay and the reorder quantity as 250 for this warehouse so system is showing me that i have you know uh, at the moment the quantity is 1150 okay and uh, you know uh, these two loads are there so uh, 900 quantities short okay at the moment you know so the, the idea is you know to explain that you know uh, minimum stock is 200 so you can change and you can change at warehouse level like you don't want to maintain 1500 okay 
as a safety stock in the given warehouse okay then you know you can change this to 2000 you can change it to 1000 you can change it to 500 by just press the edit button these details will appear so you can change 2000 you can make it less or more the order quantity depending upon your warehouse specific or store specific requirements the second thing you can update about this item at warehouse level is the bin location okay which bin this particular item is you know located and also you can also put up some some additional details you know uh, about this stock account to be maintained and for this item and logistic course and uh, logistic course means when you move material from where one warehouse to another warehouse or you may be receiving material at the central warehouse and then to move this material from central warehouse to this particular warehouse which may be the project where project site where you are maintaining stock or it could be a location which is in the remote area so to move material from your central warehouse to this warehouse you incur this additional cost which we can cover in defining at the logistic cost okay so like that so i can select maybe bin location i can create bin location in the value set or maybe i can just maintain maybe 1000 okay not 1500 not 2000 i can say you know 300 which is a reorder quantity okay and that's it so i can save so this way i can do a configuration of my minimum stock and reorder logic at warehouse level Thank you very much for this tutorial and we will discuss more.